don't mind our mess. Uh, this is art being made over here and tons of patterns and all kinds of fun stuff. Okay. All right. So that's your shop tour. Oh, we do have a lucky new long arm owner this week. We have the stationary long arm and we've got one of those going out this week. So that's fun. Um, so this is the 9450 and this is the fantastic machine that we're talking about today. The, my favorite feature on it has to be, well, first of all, the, the very large neck space. It's wonderful for quilting, but I love this little skylight over here. Look at that. Nice and bright. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera over to Priscilla, who is going to film uh, me showing you one fun feature that we did not get to in our earlier recording. So stick around for this one fun feature, and then you can go watch the rest of the video information in the, in the earlier post. Okay, so one thing that we missed talking about is under our sewing applications tab. So here on our screen, we have our different stitch categories. And over here on the right is something called sewing applications. That's the little t-shirt. If I tap that, I can go in and I can tell the machine what kind of a project I am working on today. And so if I scroll over, I can find a quilting section here. And in quilting, I have lots of different options for things to, to work on today. So I've got straight stitch, free motion quilting, hand look quilting, that's a cool one, clasp stitch, there's lots of things in here. I'm gonna scroll, where was I? We are in straight stitch. Help me out, Priscilla. Oh no, we're, no. okay, we're actually gonna go back. <laughs> so we're gonna go back to the sewing application. Okay. We're gonna hit this X and we're gonna go to patchwork. Oh, patchwork, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long couple of days, everybody. All right, so we're in the patchwork category, and there's something really cool in here called um, the it's piece length memorization. So if you're making a quilt and you have all of these same size pieces that you want to piece together over and over, you can actually set this machine to memorize the length of the stitch and just to repeat it over and over, okay? And I actually have somebody come into the shop and, and some phone calls and stuff. I haven't today practiced a whole bunch on this, so this should be entertaining for everybody. <laughs> um, first thing we're going to do is put on our quarter inch foot. Okay, so the machine's telling us to put the quarter inch foot on. So I'm going to just pop that one off and put this new one on. All right. And then I am going to line up my fabric right here next to my quarter inch buffer. And I'm gonna lower it so that my needle's at the beginning of that fabric, okay? And I have four of these blocks that I wanna sew and they're all exactly the same size. So it would be really cool if I could chain piece them and I could just give myself a second in between sets to line up the new fabric, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, and actually I might, I don't wanna put it on lock at it cause that does a little back tap at the beginning and the end and that I'm piecing a quilt and I don't care if I'm locking up the stitches because they're going to get wrapped up in other seams right so I'm on straight stitch and it's the needle is set over to the right side for a quarter inch foot as it should be I can actually go in and make it a scant quarter inch and we talk about how to do that in the other video I'm going to save that setting to my favorite stitch setting so now every time I come into this stitch it's going to save my setting to 8.6 for my needle drop and now I'm just going to sew this one block. So I'm going to start at the beginning. And it's on, whoa, super slow. Let's speed that up a little bit. And I get to the end of my block. And I'm going to stop there. And what's it going to do? Let's see. <laughs> I think I have to use my start stop button. Okay. All right, let's try this again, everybody. So we're gonna unplug our, let's unplug the foot pedal. Let's try it with the start stop button. All right. So if I put this one under here and press start. And if you notice, I didn't pick the foot up. I just put the fabric in front of the foot and it's just took it right in. 
Okay, there it is, start stop button. So I hit the start stop button and I sewed that piece of fabric and now look what it says. It says same size, okay, or different size, X. So my next piece is exactly the same size as that piece I just sewed. So I'm gonna tuck that one right there. I'm gonna say okay. And then I'm gonna hit the start stop button again and let's see what happens. When it gets to the end of the block, it's gonna stop all on its own. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is a great demo, you guys. Hang on. Okay, let's try that again. Start, stop. How come it's not doing it? Anyway, tune back in later at another point in time where we have this feature figured out. <laughs> We're going to do a short video <laughs> tutorial on it as soon as we have it. I don't know what's happening here. I'm pretty sure I'm doing it correctly and it's not. <laughs> you guys, this is the blooper reel. <gasps> Did it do it? It's doing it right now. <laughs> for yourself okay, okay. <laughs> watch the earlier presentation. To watch the real presentation. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to turn this one off at any point. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> okay, we're back. Priscilla <laughs> decided to take the reins and she got the machine to behave just fine. So she's in the same stitch that I was in. All right. Press your foot is unplugged. See if you can find the difference in what happens here because I can't. <laughs> so. <laughs> so we hit this one. Okay. Right here. Get straight. Stitch. And then okay. just hit start stop button. When you reach the end of your block, just hit stop. And then over here on the screen, it's going to give you two options. Hit OK if you want to keep doing the repetitive blocks, or hit a different, or hit the second option if you're doing a different size block. Since I'm doing the same size block, I'm just going to hit OK. Okay. So now I'm just going to raise my presser foot, or whatever this is called, presser foot. Put it under the machine. It's been a long day, y'all. Yep. Put another one on. And then just hit start stop. And see how and it look at that. <laughs> stops. It did it how it's supposed to happen. So now the screen is going to tell you this, this message again. Don't click anything if you're doing the same size blocks. So just same size block. Raise my presser foot. foot. Down. Hit start stop. I'm going to hit this one. So I'm going to do it a little bit faster. Sewing on a mission here. There we go. And it went a little over because I put it a little over. But just the same process again. Stop. Beautiful. And every time it says one, it's going to bring up that little message that says, do you want to do something of a different length? And if you want to do something of a different length, you just hit different size. Okay. Priscilla. Beautiful. <laughs> Queen of piecing. Queen. <laughs> okay. Guess we have a new video star, everyone. <laughs> 
<laughs> See you on Friday.